I did a story time, but the sign got taken down, so I'm gonna keep this rated PG. I posted it on IG, but like, no, Facebook, I'm not gonna keep posting it. We work a 10 hour shift and we about to go on break. A car pulls in and immediately my coworker was like, could you take his order? That should have been a red fucking flag because um, nobody about to turn down no money. So um, I get to take in his order. I took his whole order. We were actually like having a small conversation, like everything was good. I turn around, turn back around, and all his homeboys right there. Some was being rude, some was flirting, and I was just like, nah. Because, you know, I'm already mentally ready for the break. So my boss, she comes up and she takes the order. So I sit at the bar and I'm turning around because my coworker is like, oh yeah, um, he's a rapper. So I'm trying to figure out which one's a rapper. So then they're like, oh yeah, look us up, look us up, look us up. And I'm like, I don't know who you are. Because how on earth am I supposed to look you up and I don't even have a name? So my coworker, she spells out the name. I look him up and I'm like, I still don't know who you are. And I felt as if they took that as disrespect, but like I genuinely didn't know who he is. Because in Atlanta, I feel like if you say you don't know who somebody is, it's kind of like, disrespect like oh I don't know who you is I never heard of you I don't know what you be on da, da, da. yeah but I ain't mean it like that I genuinely don't know who this man is so me saying that off the bat like first me not taking that order and then me saying that I, I think that really pissed him off because he was like oh I get money da, 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 da. bitch who is you and then it started getting disrespectful so then I was like you're five two <laughs> that pissed him off too then my boss and stuff is like, oh, just stop talking, record, send it to the shade room, TMZ. And I'm like, they don't even know who this man is. So then I was smiling and I was licking my teeth and I was like, oh, yeah, my teeth look better than yours. So then that's when he was like, oh, I'll get them girls in the car to jump you and then all this other shit. And that's when he threatened to spit on me. So that's when I walked my happy ass to the back, got me some boiling hot water and sat it right next to me. Right after I did that, that's when I started to record this video. Two seconds into me recording, he spits on the window. I was baffled. Ends up cleaning his spit and apologizing to my manager. And I think after that's when they was like, oh yeah, you got a fat ass, shake some ass, fuck some tips. And I was like, tell your mom to do that. That pissed him off too. And basically that's what happened. So I most definitely didn't do anything to him that provoked him to that point. Because mind you, look at everybody around him. Everybody calm. One person's like literally telling me not to mind him. The other person is literally laughing. After I recorded it on Instagram, I came on here and then I posted it. And then I posted it with his sound after I found out who he was. Telling me this man is a rapper like two out of every three people in Atlanta are not rappers. At the end of the day, I'm not finna get disrespected by anybody. And so if you seen this, don't kill me, please. <laughs> what?